Welcome to Swolehammer. Even though we love the frantic action of Warcry and the skirmish gameplay of Kill Team, there's something to be said about fielding a big army. Hence why I started Starting Sigmar. For whoever is new to the channel or series, the mission of these videos are to help new players make a fun and efficient army from a specific faction, rounding out to a thousand point list, which is the lowest tier of competitive play. We also want to make it easy to acquire these items and enjoyable to hobby with. The criteria are as follows. We avoid making lists with repeat models. Models need to be easily accessible either from a Games Workshop store or Amazon. I like to support local, but sometimes prices can't be beat online. All models suggested are in plastic and we only focus on armies with the current edition's battle tomes. We're in the third edition of Age of Sigmar. Some armies still only have their second edition rules, and I don't want to do videos on them until they get their new rules, because the videos will go out of date quicker. So join me as we dive into the fanatical daughters of Cain. If your normal brand of Warhammer elf, such as High Elves, are too boring for you, and you just want some more murder in your life, then the Daughters of Cain will satiate your bloodlust. Gladiatorial zealots of the murder god, the Daughters of Cain have Melusi, elves, and reanimated statues that shoot out torrents of burning blood. With Daughters of Cain, it's all gas, no breaks. But you also have tricks, wizardry, and prayers to enhance your combat. And most of the units in this army are effective at what they're trying to accomplish. I mean, hell, even the Warcry Warband for this army is good in Big Sig. Word of warning to the newer players out there, if you're trying to get into Daughters of Cain, they are quite spindly models and can be annoying to build. This is not to dissuade you from collecting the army if you really like it, but from personal experience, it can be hellish at times. Now on to the buy list. Thankfully, it's quite simple. We take the new Daughters of Cain Vanguard box, add on the Daughters of Cain Warcry box. Now, I'm not talking about the Canine Shadowstalkers box, but they're the ones I mentioned that are also good in Big Sig. No, I'm talking about the Warcry box that came out recently that just has a little more of the normal models inside of it. And lastly, the new High Gladiatrix model. At the end of the day, these items will run you a total of around $250, give or take. A little more on the expensive side, but with this basis, you'll have a thousand points to grow into 2000 points and have any flexibility into whatever direction you really want to go in. Now on to Swolehammer's Daughters of Cain list. Right now we start with the sub-faction Keltnar. This is because we have a mix of Melusi and Elves in our army. Some sub-factions synergize with one or the other. Others that synergize with both are Hagnar and Kaelbron. Most people do Hagnar, but since we're starting off with the basics, let's learn how to use the Blood Rites table first before affecting it. So we're doing Keltnar. Your leader options are your Melusi Iron Scale and High Gladiatrix. Melusi Iron Scale is the general because it makes your Bloodstalkers, i.e. the Melusi Battle Line. Speaking of Battle Line, we're using Bloodstalkers, the Archer Melusi, and Sisters of Slaughter, the alternate build of Witch Elves and they're both reinforced because we have all those units from the Vanguard and Warcry box that we bought. Now Bloodstalkers and Sisters of Slaughter are my personal choice because I like those models more. Most people like to use Witch Elves, I just like the masks and the whips with Sisters of Slaughter because I just think they're really cool. And lastly, you take the Doomfire Warlocks from the Vanguard box. Games Workshop has been pushing more Doomfire Warlocks in their Daughters of Cain products recently. Most people don't like them, I do, and since they're in the Vanguard box, let's use them. They round out the list. And as I said with this list, this allows you to flex into other sub-factions, or if you want to go eventually into 2,000 points with only Melusi or only Elves, you can start with this and see what you like. But with this list, it gives you two beatstick heroes that support both your battle line and a unique quick harassment unit in the Doomfire Warlocks that can also cast spells. And that's it! If you like this content, please let me know in the comments, or if you want to see any specific other armies that have a 3rd edition battle tome for Star and Sigmar, let us know. I read these comments, and I'd like to see what you guys want to see. As always, this is Rafiq from Swolehammer. Stay swole.